How is it going, guys? It's Miguel. Welcome back to another video with some more Miguel on it. My name, um... So, today's video, we're gonna talk about what's wrong Kyrie. So, I decided to check out Kyrie Irving sucks. No, before we begin, I do not hate Kyrie or hate any of you. Hate me and hate a bad. I do not know. I, I do not. I have him. I, I like him as a player. I used to love him. I, every, even if he did win the next season, to be his own man, I still like that. I still like him because he gave us our third, like, third bronze third championship. I do not remember bronze fan, Denver fan, Broncos fan. I said like a stop billion trillion times. But the point is, is that I am. So, thank you, Kyrie. And it just, ever since then, he left. Toxicity, the comments, the locker room, the cheers, the booze. It's just, I mean, the hype he had before the 2018 2019 season. And now, the criticism is getting from this. And now, the leadership and impact. So, I'm not going to get discovered at all on today's video. I'm not, but I'm going to discover somewhere. And if you know what I mean, hit the like button, subscribe, turn post notifications, and you begin. So, obviously, Kyrie used to be one of the most loved players in the NBA. He used to be 2016. He used to get very low, but now he's just getting super flat. Like, they're just jokes. He gets so much hate. Like, oh. I thought, like, God, I, I think Kevin Durant's the most disliked team in the world, which I think the most loved is LeBron. The most disliked Kevin Durant. But Kyrie's the what up there with the most disliked is Kevin Durant. He's up there with what the most loved is LeBron. The least hated is LeBron. Is LeBron in the game. Law, I hate because the Bullet Park is a ball law, which is good. So, yeah. So, my point on is that, dude, Kyrie, what is his hate? Like, he gets so much hate. Like, I'm not, I'm, I may be overreacting how much hate he gets, but, yeah, he gets a lot of hate. So, hey, we're gonna discover why Mr. Kyrie Irving gets some hate, and it's just because of Kyrie and sucks. It's from three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. It was way before Kyrie, it, it, it was before. It was way before and before Kyrie Irving decided to join um um the Celtics or he failed with the Celtics or just join with the Nets. So I just want to say. So yeah, that's why. And so now he's again. So we're gonna say why Kyrie Irving top five reasons why Kyrie Irving is getting hate. Oh, uh, so number one, and then this thing. Number one, um, number one, the toxicity. So as you guys know, I think it was before, like, I think when the when LeBron joined the the, the Cavs after winning two games, going back to back, and deciding, hey, I'm just gonna get my guy, uh, my city a, a championship, and which he did, but like before, like, and so basically before they did that, he said like Kyrie Irving, or or after they did that, Kyrie Irving, um, was telling like LeBron about how like easy it is, I wanted my own guy or whatever, and he said he like apologized how hard it was. They called him to like how hard it was it was to do all that kind of shenanigans and be a leader. And he wasn't toxic at this time, but he was like after he like I think it was his second season with the Celtics. It was his most toxic. I think it was. But like they only got forty nine wins with that season even though I saw Damian Hayes seeing sixty seven. Even though even if but all the hype I did not think they were gonna get sixty seven. I thought they were gonna get like sixty. I think they were, I thought they were gonna get like sixty wins at best. And 60 wins or to 55 wins. But I would say I'd like the maximum say 50 to 60 wins. But they didn't. They they they, they just got 49. So especially when I had this hype team. So they made the fourth, but this is my point. So toxicity. Basically, the Kyrie's main reason is just toxicity, and people are just like people do not like it. Of course, if you're a toxic in the NBA, you're not gonna get liked because you might be toxic. And of course, the NBA media, if you make one mistake, you can't go have a second chance. Because if you do, and the media knows about it, and say about it, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna, oh, I don't know, like, flipping, I don't know, man, just, just attack you. For, I don't know why. I feel like it's, the media is so, to, like, the NBA face is, they so toxic. The social media ever, the media era is super toxic. It is toxic. If we make one wrong move, they act like he's perfect. If they make a mistake or like a controversial or something on the floor, like a travel and accident, like a couple times, people don't even know they're humans. Oh my gosh. Like Jeremy Leonard and LeBron James, when he, um, got, I don't know why, when he, you know, like seriously, they're humans. NBA players are humans. Like seriously, they can make mistakes, but they can't go back. 
I, I ain't put that then. You can make a mistake all you want, but you won't get criticized because there's no media to cover it up. All there is is a kind of the reporters. That's it. That's it. And even if they did, they're not going to blast it all up in the Twitter, Instagram, or hell, even YouTube. Like, it's dumb, man. Yeah. I really wish we can go back. I mean, I'm fine with social media, but if it's toxic, if it's not toxic, I'll take it. Yeah, uh, that, I just feel good. And yeah, his toxic comments, and then he went apologized to LeBron, but he had these um toxic comments in the locker room. Made a toxic locker room, and that was after that, that was when it was the Celtics. But like, with the Cavs, I guess you can say he you know how hard it was, so I guess since he didn't know how to, I guess the reason why. Number two, his toxicity comments in the locker room. So his toxicity comments in the locker room is kind of dumb. Like, I mean, not dumb. But, but that, but that, okay, this is going to be most of his second year with the Celtics, because I think that second year is just one of his worst seasons that he's played, even though he got 49 wins in the second half, so that could just work. Because in his first um, years with the Cavs, for LeBron Jordan, you can't really blame Kyrie. You just can't, because Kyrie Irving, like, didn't have enough help, like LeBron did. So, uh, yeah, I have to, yeah, Kyrie did get out. So, Kyrie Irving, you're good for those, for those years for LeBron. You're good. Yeah, LeBron went back-to-back, and he got the third. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just in his second year with the just uh, no, let's take let's go back. So in his first year with the Celtics, which is I think it was his best season despite like not playing in the place. Basically in his first season, I think I don't know how many wins they had, but they were um first. No no no, they were second in the East or second East. The first, they were um the number one was the Raptors with sixty nine wins. But I think they were second with the East with sixty seven or fifty six, I'm not sure. Okay, whatever. But yeah, they, they were second in the East. Um, uh, Kyrie got injured near the playoffs, couldn't play, um, uh, also, that was with, without Gordon Hayward, this, this, seriously, Gordon Hayward had a gruesome injury in the first, um, game of the entire season, the 2017 season, which hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't care what person I don't like, I mean, I'm not big fans of KD, but, uh, or like, any, like, I'm not big fans, if I'm not big fans of it, I don't care, I, the last thing I want them is to get hurt, hurt at all, finger, I mean, of course, finger, although, not like, guys, hurt finger, but, like, yeah, I want to be just like, okay, you're cool, you gotta hurt your finger, I don't want to, and, but seriously, if you, I, I'm, I swear, no, I do not want nobody to get in, that injury, please don't, God, okay, you have that out of the way, yeah. so, basically, they're doing pretty good, and then, people were saying, before that, that season, say, they, no, Kyber wouldn't want to be the same without LeBron yet, Kyrie was proving them people wrong. I mean, legit. I don't have to give Kyrie his credit that season, but I that Kyrie Irving got injured. Obviously, it wasn't a gruesome injury like Gordon Hayward, thank gosh, but it was just like, you know, like his ankle and whatever. And it was right before the playoffs. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. So, with all being said, the Celtics made a huge run led by a rookie, Jason Tatum. I think he was 20 years old at this time. Yeah, 20 years old. And they made a huge run. After eliminating the um, Milwaukee Bucks in a seven-game series, in a huge seven-game series, everyone was talking their crap, saying, well, there was no oh, Gordon Hayward or Kyrie Irving. But, yeah. And then they didn't want the five games with the, um, with, they went the five games with the Philadelphia 76ers, which is actually pretty good. I mean, yeah, no, no other two best stars. I led by Ricky Jason, who was 20 years old. Hey, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah, no, 21, 21. He's led by 21 years old, Jason Tatum. Hey, Jason Tatum, you're 21 years old. Hey, um, I think, I don't know what else he needs to do, but he beat another team. The point is that, no, 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 he beat, he beat, yeah, the honest, the Bucks. Then he'd be Philly in five. Now, listen to Richard. They meet LeBron James and the Cavaliers. So, I'm going to, like, tell you what happens. So, basically, when it hits the time. So, basically, and then, basically, what happened is that LeBron had his best performance. After eliminating the Pacers in seven games, after sweeping the Crafters at the time. Oh, they probably still are. But, at the time, like, they were almost actually literally saying um, they swapped in with uh, the seal winning buzzer beater to take the community 3 0 lead, which obviously the one he blew down 94. And, um, they're there. Now they're there. Um, the Celtics, uh, you can say it hurt Celtics versus the LeBron James Cavs. But the one, the, I don't think, I don't get it. When people say there was no, no Kyrie Irving, Kevin, I mean Kyrie Irving, 
and Gordon Hayward. Oh, they would. Like, I, okay, it's fine to say at the time was saying it, it was so say it was impressive how they put the seven games without Kyrie Irving going. Hey, now that is fine. I can understand that. I mean, hey, you, then you get all hyped next season to have Joe do something good. Like that's fine. I mean, you're, that's completely fine because because you just get that much like hype. Because, and then if you go to, because they just say, yeah, they would have won, you just probably love it. Yeah, that's fine. But, I don't know why people say, oh, they should have won. Because, no, just stop. They were up 2-0, and they were up 3-2, and they, they just blew, got blew out. So, just, just, at the time, you, they, you should have just said, that's incredible how they were able to do that. Without their two best all -star. Which, which, I would agree. So, yeah, but, hey, yeah, I mean, most people said, but, hey, it is what it is. Hey, they didn't want that game. So, my point is, is that they went to seven games, and without their two best starters, Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward. And basically, ever since the, after LeBron played dominant and went seven games versus that team, and went dominant and played his absolute best and carried the Cavs to the finals, um, after that, um, people, were, people were praising the Celtics for their strong season. And and that was in game seven. That was their only loss in the um in home, of course. That was their only loss at home of the playoffs. So and um, everyone was saying, okay, that was big. seriously, they were hyped. They were hyped, hyped. Everyone was saying they're going to win sixty-seven games, sixty-five or, or sixty. They were saying they don't win. Oh, they don't win over um fifty-five games. I'll give you a hundred. Like seriously, they were hyped because. And it's understandable. I mean, they want the seven games with the LeBron like, but they, oh, by the way, the, oh, yeah, the LeBron James Cavs team in seven games, and they were able to almost close out, but they they blew it and they missed thirty two threes. Thirty seven. Oh, you know, I was gonna say this. You know, the, and the most underrated facts that people forgot is that the Celtics were favored against the Cavs in that Eastern Conference Finals. They they don't they don't even they they didn't even give a crap. That Kevin Irving and Gordon Hayward were injured. They were still favored, and rightfully so. Coming into that series, they were rightfully favored and so. But they did, and they blew it, and LeBron uh, pulled an upset. So, there we go, that explanation. But, besides the point, they were so hyped, rightfully so at the time, of course. So, after that, Kyrie Irving made a comment and saying, Oh, I will resign the, 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 the next Boston. I'm planning to resign this year. Obviously, he lied because he's with the Nets. But besides the point, um, everyone was hyped because, oh, they could have a chance. Even Boston can act like they could have a chance to win championships. I even thought they could make out the East if lucky and some necessary changes. But um, they didn't. So they got to the second round. But my point is what I'm trying to make is that they were hyped. And our start this season, they blew out the Philadelphia 76ers. Obviously, Gordon Hayward wasn't playing this much. But the fast forward is time is that they won 49 games. They, um... And out of like Danny age sixty seven, but and they were just they didn't they didn't get fifty games. I mean, like seriously. I mean that season Rondo hit a game ring, so say if they won that game they would have had fifty, but that's one. So basically they swept the um Pacers in the first round while being the four seed Boston in the eighth in the I think the sixth seed in the fifth. But there was no with the old evil. Now granted the the Celtics would have still won that series, but it would have been more interesting. It would have been interesting. I would say they would have gone to six games versus the Celtics. And they Pacers would have won two games while Celtics would have won four and won one series. So, but, it, but they were still playing bad. But I don't know. Now, this is a real, this is where it all started. Well, I'll, I'll tell you when the next video one is. Thank you.